Everyone knows that Jim Harbaugh is one of the best coaches in all of football. In 2023, he led the Michigan Wolverines to a national championship win over Washington. He then became the head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers. But did you know these 10 things about him? From his favorite foods, music, and shows, to his time as a player in the NFL. After watching, let us know if we missed anything about the quirky big-name coach. One, played at Michigan before coaching. Decades before Harbaugh coached the Wolverines to a national title, he was playing quarterback for them. While it took some time to earn the starting spot, serving as the team's third-string quarterback in his freshman season, he quickly proved himself to be one of the top players at his position in the country. However, this did not happen overnight after earning the starting spot. He suffered a broken arm in just the third week of the 1984 season, which kept him sidelined for the rest of the year. While this injury forced him to miss the remainder of the season, Harbaugh did not let this set his career back. He had an elite junior year, leading the Wolverines to a 10-1-1 record, ending their season with a 26 7-23 win over Nebraska in the Fiesta Bowl. Harbaugh had his best individual season yet in 1986, leading Michigan to an 11-2 record. Along with this, he was named as the Big Ten's Player of the Year and finished third in the Heisman Trophy voting. However, his final game as Michigan's quarterback ended on a sour note, losing to Arizona State by a final score of 22-15 in the Rose Bowl. He ended his playing days at Michigan, totaling 5,214 yards, 31 touchdowns, and 19 interceptions. 2. Was an NFL quarterback before being a head coach The San Francisco 49ers were a leadership mess in the early 2000s. They finished the 2010 season 6-10 and prior to Jim taking over. In his first year as head coach, the Niners earned a 13-3 and record and fell one game short of the Super Bowl to the New York Giants in the NFC Championship game. Harbaugh took home the Coach of the Year award. The next year, they made it all the way to the Super Bowl, where Jim lost to his brother John and the Baltimore Ravens in a controversial matchup. He coached the 49ers to another conference championship appearance after the 49ers finished the regular season with a record of 12 and 4. While they would only go 8 and 8 during his final season in San Francisco, he still finished his time with the team with an incredible record, three conference championship appearances and a Super Bowl appearance in only 4 years. Despite his coaching career being well known, not many know that Harbaugh was also a quarterback in the NFL during the 90s. He began his time in the league as the 26th overall pick in the first round by the Chicago Bears. While while it took him some time to earn the starting spot in Chicago, he had two good years with the team, leading them to a 10-4 and 11-5 seasons in 1990 and 1991. However, his best season came in 1995 when he was the starting quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. Harbaugh finished the year with 2,575 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions in the 15 games he appeared in and 12 games he started in. This earned him a spot in the Pro Bowl, and he finished fourth in MVP voting by behind only Brett Favre, Jerry Rice, and Emmitt Smith. Jim Harbaugh as a player was pretty respectable. 3. He's homeless After signing a five-year, $80 million deal to become the new head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers, many coaches' first purchase would be a mansion. However, being one of the league's most eccentric personalities, Harbaugh instead chose to go homeless. Not exactly homeless, as in living on the streets, but he is now living inside an RV. This was not a full-time thing for Harbaugh, as he was only doing so while his family moved from Michigan. When speaking about his living situation, he said, It's been great just being by myself. I always wanted to do that. It worked out great. I'm 100 feet from Greg Roman, who has a really, really good RV. It appears that this was just a test run for Harbaugh, as he has gone on the record to say that he dreams of living in a trailer park after he retires. 4. His favorite TV show The inspiration for Harbaugh's stint in the RV, along with his trailer park dreams, seemingly comes from his favorite TV series, The Rockford Files. The six-season series follows Jim Rockford, an ex-con and private detective who was falsely convicted of a crime he did not commit. Rockford and his gang of fellow ex-cons spend the series solving crimes. When talking about living in the RV, Harbaugh was quoted as saying, My favorite show growing up is The Rockford Files. It's still my favorite show. That was me as a kid, driving that Camaro around LA in the car chases, down there by the beach, have the trailer down there at the beach. I told my wife, I want to drive my RV out here and go to a trailer park, like down by the water or by Disneyland. I want to Jim Rockford it for the next couple of months until we move into the new facility. I have that thought going through my head. 5. His favorite musical artist. Harbaugh's unique tastes do not stop with his living conditions. He has gone on the record to name Alanis Morissette as his favorite musical artist. Morissette is a versatile Canadian singer-songwriter who also plays the guitar. She has experimented in a handful of genres, including alt-rock, post-grunge, electronica, hard rock, indie, pop, and pop rock. She was named the best new artist at the 38th Grammy Award 
Awards, took home a Tony Award for her stage adaptation of her album Jagged Little Pill, and has been nominated four times for Songwriter of the Year at the Juno Awards. Some of her most popular songs include Ironic, All to Know, Hands Clean, Head Over Feet, and Hand in My Pocket. While Morissette has been recognized as one of the best songwriters of her era, it's highly doubtful that Harbaugh will be getting the aux in the Chargers locker room this season. Six, two favorite foods. Harbaugh also has a one-of-a-kind diet and takes on food in general. During an appearance on his weekly radio show, he said, I truly believe the number one natural steroid is sleep, and the number two natural steroid is called milk, whole milk. Number three would be water. Four would be steak. Later on in the conversation, he said, I take a vitamin every day. It's called a steak. Years later, he once again brought up his love for steak when asked about his favorite Thanksgiving food. However, there is another food fighting for Harbaugh's number one spot. Shockingly, it's hot dogs. During a Michigan spring game, the winners of the matchup got a steak dinner while the losers were served hot dogs. While almost anyone can see the difference in quality between the two, Harbaugh was not one of them. When asked if he would be joining the winning team for steak or sticking to hot dogs, he said, I like hot dogs just as much as steak, so probably hot dogs. 7. He once thought chicken was poison. While Harbaugh cannot get enough of steaks or hot dogs, there was a time when he would not go anywhere near chicken and even thought that they were poisonous. Former Michigan quarterback Shea Patterson brought this story to light, recounting a conversation in which Harbaugh taught him not to eat chicken. When asking him why, Harbaugh allegedly said, because it's a nervous bird. He thinks some type of sickness injected its way into the human population when people began eating white meats instead of beef and pork. Since then, Harbaugh has begun raising chickens after buying chicks from his kids at Tractor Supply Company. After getting first-hand experience with the animal, his stance has completely changed, saying, I know there was a time I said that chicken was a nervous bird and I don't eat chicken. I only eat meat. I was dead wrong. I stand corrected. These chickens are low maintenance and high production. 8. Leads NFL head coaches in winning percentage. As a result of his immense amount of success during his time with the San Francisco 49ers, Harbaugh currently has the highest win percentage out of any head coach currently in the league. Interestingly, this puts him above coaching legends like Andy Reid and even Bill Belichick, who sit at 64.1% and 64.7%. Harbaugh also outranks Nick Sirianni and Matt LaFleur take up the third and second spots, respectively, with 66.7% and 67.5%. Heading into the 2024 season, he has an overall record of 44-19-1, giving him a win percentage of 69.5%. This will be a very difficult percentage to maintain with the Chargers roster that has lost most of their offensive weapons over the 2024 offseason. However, as we discussed previously, he was able to turn around a struggling 49ers team quickly during his first stint as head coach in the NFL. 9. Models himself after SpongeBob SquarePants As you've probably been able to gather by now, Harbaugh is one of the most unique personalities in the entire NFL. A reason for this may be one of his idols that he has attempted to model his behavior after, that character being SpongeBob SquarePants. When discussing his favorite cartoons, Harbaugh said, I love his attitude. He attacks each day with enthusiasm, unknown to mankind. I model my behavior by him. What a great employee he is. He's a go-getter. He's always got a bounce in his step. He's got pizzazz. He puts his heart and soul into making those patties. I think he's awesome. 10. His favorite song is Wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald. Rounding out the list is Harbaugh's favorite song. While his top artist is Alanis Morissette, his favorite song comes from Gordon Lightfoot and is called The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. The nearly six-minute song was written to commemorate the 29 lives lost in the sinking of the ore carrier SS Edmund Fitzgerald in Lake Superior on November 10, 1975. When talking about the song, Harbaugh said, it might seem weird because it's not the most hyped up song, but everyone's got their routine. It's a funny song because it relates to Michigan, that area, Lake Superior and all that, so it was cool. Just good lyrics in that song. Just a fighting mentality. We're the lake. That's it. All 10 things you may not have known about Jim Harbaugh. Was there anything that surprised you? Or did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments and we'll respond to you. Thank you for watching The Halftime Show.